Exorcist to the Heretic. <sighs> Unfortunately, I had to go back to this franchise at some point. These last four Exorcist movies are a hit and miss. This is a very strong miss. So, a little production history on this movie. Originally, there was a script for this movie. Linda Blair signed on to be in this second movie because she thought the script was twice as good as the first one. For sequels, that's what a sequel is supposed to do. You're supposed to be better than the first one. Or just as good, if not better, than the first one. Then, they came in, messed up, rewrote the script. Incorporating ideas from another script writer who is uncredited. And then they rewrote this movie five times, and this movie did not end up like anything like the first movie, the first version of this movie. And then the studio basically just came in and screwed it all up, this movie all up. No wonder this has a 37%. A 33.7 out of 10 on IMDb. Or 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. This movie is hands down. One of the worst movies ever created. Basic story is... We have Father Lamont, and he's chosen by the superiors, owing his experience to his experience with exorcisms. He's chosen to investigate the death of Father Marin, who died in the previous film during the exorcism of a young Reagan McNeil. So now, four years later, she is at peace. And she enjoys a privileged and lonely adolescent's life. And she's under the care of this psychiatrist. And the psychiatrist hypnotizes the girl. And he's able to learn that Father Marin previously exercised the same demon from a boy in Africa. Which is... A, which we see in Exorcist the Beginning, which I'll get to. That won't be a rant, though. Hoping for answers, he decides to travel to Africa in search of the youth. That summary does not even explain half of this movie. That synopsis I just gave, it did not deserve that freaking synopsis. It did not, this movie did not deserve to get made. This movie did not deserve to have an international worldwide release. This movie was just horrible. It's a chore. This is a chore to get through, okay? How do you how do you make a freaking movie to The Exorcist? A sequel to The Exorcist, one of the greatest horror movies of all time. And you not make it not good. How is that possible? The studio basically just came in and just messed this movie up. And John, the director even hated how this movie turned out. Everyone hated how this movie turned out. Even the author of the first book, William Peter Blatty, laughed when this movie premiered. Because he couldn't believe how stupid this movie was. This movie did not need to be an hour and 57 minutes. This movie feels like 3 hours and 59 minutes. This movie is a chore to get through. It is beyond me that a sequel to one of the best horror movies out there gets made and it's not as good as the first one. 
And I know what you're about to say, Joshua, you should have been prepared for this. Oh, yeah, I was prepared. I just didn't know how awful it this was it was going to be. And now I know. Jesus. It's like somebody just came in and they did not know what the heck they were doing. And it shows. Because every moment in this movie is just bullcrap. After bullcrap, you have... They keep on flash forwarding back to this, this, this Egyptian tribe. They honestly, you know what? I can't even describe how this is because this movie is just so horrible. It's so stupid to sit through that. Who, for whatever reason, this movie was plagued by numerous problems, unnecessary reshoots, deaths of people of locusts. Original film editor Queen Production. A lot of stuff happened through this. I will give this movie one ounce of credibility. One, I will say the ending is pretty good. The ending is great. And... The acting from Linda Blair and James Earl Jones and Max von Sydow and Richard Burton is Father Lamont. But everything else, the story is horrible. The music is just weird. The cinematography is just stupid. The editing is so far-fetched and in-between. The directing... Not only this is the worst film in the series, this is one of the worst movies of all time. And there are other bad movies that are considered to be the worst. A lot of them. E a lot of them has been considered to be one of the worst movies of all time. This movie. Heaven's Gate. Howard the Duck. Superman 4. The Garbage Pail Kids. Troll 2. Highlander 2, Batman and Robin, North, which was Carl Johansson's debut, Glitter, Freddy Got Fingered, Jiggly, which I have not seen, Catwoman, The Last Airbender, Dragon Ball Evolution. Dragon Ball Evolution is a much better movie than this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like that movie either, but I would rather watch that movie twice before watching this again. But no, I need to keep my sanity, alright? Because uh, I have nothing else to say about this movie. Nothing else to say. Stay away from The Exorcist 2. Skip it. Go on to The Exorcist 3. You ain't missing much. You ain't missing much. Exorcist 2 The Heretic is going to get an automatic JD Get Out of My Face Club. Which I'm going to give this movie an F+. Because this is hell to sit through. And I want... I, this movie is laughably bad. So, if I am to get so, and this is all in my freaking Amazon wish list, but. <laughs> the collection on Blu ray is in my Amazon wish list, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to own this. Why? Because it's part of the collection. But I'm fine with it. So, let me know what you guys think of this this train wreck of a movie down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I will see you guys later. If you like this, you can come here and we can have a good friggin' time.